Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a soft cat tract and in this case I have employed the carousel or the card wheel technique for management of the nucleus. Let us see how the surgery goes. This is the main incision and the posterior aspect of the limbus. Now, viscoelastic substance, 2% SPMC, is injected into the anterior chamber. Now, capsular axis is to be done. Before that, one paracentesis is done about 3 clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. And in this case, I am going to make only one side port. And now, the anterior capsule is incised, the needle is introduced through the main incision, a capsular tag is raised. And now I use a uterata forceps, I fold this tag, go anticlockwise, remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the pupil, and thus getting a round adequate rexus. And now hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed just under the anticapsular rim and we can see that it goes to the opposite side. The nucleus is tapped, the fluid comes anteriorly indicating that hydro dissection is complete. The nucleus is mobilized and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece, 2% SPMC again and now the tip is introduced with bevel down. I am in FECO 2 mode with 450 vacuum, 45 flow rate and 50% ultrasonic energy. Remove some superficial cortical matter, place the tip facing the nuclear mass at 2 o'clock and go to position 3. The the mass rotates and disappears within 30 seconds. It's a very safe, very controlled, a very slow technique. It got over in 30 seconds, but it never appeared that it has been done in a hurry. So this is a very controlled way of managing this soft nuclei. And now cortical cleanup. Since I have made only one side port, I am not going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration. The Simco is a beautiful instrument to remove the cortical matter. The side port is a little larger, but you need only one side port. It is three clock hours away, and the astigmatism produced or induced by the main incision is partially corrected by the side port if it is made three clock hours away. And now the cortex from the superior aspect is being removed from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And now, I can see there is a piece of nucleus or epinucleus lying at 10 o'clock. So what I do is I flash out some fluid towards it, it gets dislodged and it is escorted out. Now I can see a lot of cells sticking to the posterior capsule and here comes hydro polish. Polishing the posterior capsule with the help of hydro that is irrigating fluid from the irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation. And you can see the posterior capsule is very in nicely 
getting cleaned. It is almost shining. So hydro polish is a beautiful technique and the antechamber remains always formed. The posterior capsule is not even touched. The fluid wave is swept over it and the cells get dislodged. And now hydro implantation. The antechamber is formed by the irrigating fluid and here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic as well as the telling haptic goes into the capsular bag by the irrigating probe. In this case, you can see that the leading haptic is still attached to the posterior surface of the optic. And here it gets detached. And now the haptics have taken shelter at the equatorial part of the capsular bag. To buy some time, if the antechamber gets shallow, inject a big air bubble into the anterior chamber. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. This is moxifloxacin, 3-4 spots and then this is hydro suture. The stroma on either side of the paracentesis is hydrated and this paracentesis opening get closed. And now is the time for final lavage of the anterior chamber. If you do this, your anterior chamber will be very quiet and shining next day. And whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time. And now we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a totally unedited surgery and you can think that you have watched a live surgery. The antechamber is formed and then you take the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any side. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be better and do better.